Hey guys, Nick here, and um, I know this video is coming at a really random time of the day. You know, it's almost midnight Saturday night, but um, I cannot go without talking about this. So most of you are probably aware by now, um, the identity of the Robin suit, you know, or like the Robin who was whose suit, you know, was in Batman vs Superman, who is the dead Robin in the DC Extended Universe. Um, his identity has been confirmed to Bay t t today. <laughs> by an odd source um, from a Warner Brothers uh, studio tour um, and the identity is you know not a shock to any of us but the Robin suit belongs to in fact Jason Todd um, again not a shock to any of us really but just finally knowing who the Robin is it gives me a sense of relief because I was worried for a bit that the, that the dead Robin would be uh, Dick Grayson or like Tim Drake or something. But the fact that they are in fact going with Jason Todd really goes to show that how much, despite people's problems with Batman vs Superman, this universe really is trying to, you know, accept its comic book roots and really honor those comic book roots. And look, and despite people's problems with Batman vs Superman, that 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 version of Batman is very like Frank Miller, Dark Knight Returns esque, you know, and. The, these characters, you know, they're again, they're really accepting of their comic book history and the comic book lore itself. So, by them making this, this dead Robin Jason Todd, it, it raises a lot of questions. Like, are they going to bring in Red Hood? Is he going to be featured in any of the future Batman movies? And honestly, the Under the Red Hood storyline and the Under the Red Hood animated movie is such a rich and really emotionally deep story that I really hope that the DC movies team tackles with Ben Affleck and Jeff Johns. I hope that that's the story that they're adapting because honestly, that story goes to the heart of why Batman is Batman and why he doesn't kill the Joker and why he's become the way he is at that point in his life thinking that Jason's been dead this whole time. So I, knowing that they are accepting this part of the, the comic book history this isn't confirming that Red Hood's alive or anything, but just confirming that it is Jason Todd and giving us fans, you know, so, like some really, a bit of relief because in Batman vs Superman, this is a bit of a spoiler for anyone who hasn't seen it, but for anyone who has seen it, you, I mean, you already know, they didn't m mention Robin or who it was or any, any of the Robins at all in Batman vs Superman at all. They just showed the suit. And now again, now that we finally know, there's a sense of relief and Again, open up, opens up a lot of doors and opens up a lot of questions. So, with that being said, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, what do you guys think of this reveal? Are you guys are you guys surprised at all? Or are you guys just, you know, not shocked at all and just, you guys knew this was coming? And what do you guys think this means for DC movies moving forward and the Batman movies moving forward? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. What do you guys think? And um, I think that's enough of my rambling for tonight. So, until next time, guys, have a good one.